I was obviously about 18 at the time. I'm, I'm, I'm nearly 60 this year, but I, I remember it like, like yesterday. I remember mm. my, my trials with Partick. I remember playing with guys. There was a big lad from Sight Hill, uh, and we came in, and um, he, he, I was going to say we auditioned, but we, we were on trial at the same time. Uh, it was a, a guy called Danny Devine, um, a big Glasgow footballer, and we came in uh, into uh, Thistle that Sunday. Uh, and my, my right leg wasn't the best at hitting the ball, so I was mostly on my left handed left side. And um, and there was the ball sort of landed on the the side opposite the the stand, and the ball landed in front of me just outside the eighteen yard box. And somebody told me to hit it, and I had no choice. So I hit it with my right leg, and uh, and somehow I managed to connect with the ball, and the ball hit off the top of the. The, the Partick um, um, frame, you know, the goal frame, the, the, the goal posts. And I think in those days, if I remember rightly, the, the goal posts was like square. So I hit the top of it. And then straight after that, so I didn't score, but I, but I, hit, the, I hit the framework. Uh, and they signed me on the back of that, you know. So, um, so hi. So it was, <laughs> so that, that was, that, that was some of the, the things I can, I can remember. Uh, there, but I remember Jamie Doyle extremely well. Um, that's that's Ian McDonald's, isn't it? That's Ian McDonald on the left there. Aye, aye. Aye. He was he was a great player. He, he was a real, yeah, yeah. He was a grafter. You know, he's a great ball player and stuff like that. And Donald Park and um, I think I was there at the time when was it? Uh, I was writing a, a section of my book and it was all about um, uh, Badger uh, about oh, how yes. fast he was. Uh -huh. I, uh, yeah, and I remember the first time that because I was fast uh, for a big lad. I'm 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 like six foot one, um, and the um, Bertie says uh, he, he pulled us all uh, uh, at the side. Uh, the floodlights were on, and it was a kind of winter's night. I, I remember it was really uh, sodden, uh, and he said he called us all the way down to the to the to the bottom of the ash blaze in front of the the the, the stand. And we were running two, uh, two and twos and so on and so forth. Um, and then we, narr we narrowed it down and it ended up being Badger and that sort of, I don't know how long that is, like 100 metres. Um, and I was fast and so I, I, could, I could keep up with everybody. And, um, but then he put me against Badger and he took about 30 yards off me. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was so, so, so fast. You know, so. He, le he left and went to Kilmarnock not long after that photograph, didn't he? And no, then, and then, um, and, and a, a Thistle game at Rugby Park, his first game against Thistle, he ended up getting sent off. I don't know if you okay. remember that story at all. Uh, no. No. <clears throat> no. I don't it know. Just, it just, it's one of these ones, it was one of these stories that has gone on that uh, they, they talk about. I've heard Alan Ruff talking about it as well. How, like, uh, Bobby Houston was at Rugby Park to welcome all the Thistle guys off the coach. One right. by one, they got off the coach, walked past them, just ignored them. And just to wind them up, you know, and uh, by the time he, he came on as a substitute and get sent off within minutes because he was so wound up, he was just flying about, you know. He was a great player, Thistle, though. 